Hey, this is Jenny Jones, Digital Growth Hacks Club. Hey, listen, got this tool um, that I want you to take a look at. Um, it's pretty in-depth. There is no way possible I can get through this tool and that'll take me longer than an hour. But what I wanna do is cover this tool for you in the next, I don't know, five to seven minutes and give you an over overview of it. Hey, if this is your first time in my channel, go ahead and like and subscribe. I'm always doing these breakdowns of different tools that can help you grow your bottom line and make you have a game changing um, uh, event in your business. Hey, listen, so let me do a quick walkthrough and, and let me let me let me put this out here initially. Right. And a lot of people have been asking, hey, is this tool for me? Is this tool for not for me? Listen, this tool is a marketer's dream. Right. But you have to be a technical marketer or you have to be an agency or have an agency in mind to pull it off with this tool or you have to have a team of salespeople right and there are some people that says hey i use a lot of vas they make outbound calls for me things of that nature this tool is going to work for you this tool will actually be perfect for you but it's almost as though you have to have a call center of people making outbound calls for you and you trying to matriculate them through to a purchase of your product or your service. Um, if you're not doing that or if you're not an agency, you plan to redeploy this and, and resell it to um, other businesses or something like that, this tool is probably not going to be for you. Also, this tool comes blank. This is a blank canvas you have a shell here of different tools but when i say blank this thing is completely blank meaning you have and i think that's good for a person because they can build it out the way they want to build it out i would like a lot more of templates um and i'm sure that's something that they'll they'll get when they go back but i would like a lot more templates it has no templates you have to create everything from scratch um so let me just walk you through the menu and then I'm gonna give you some final thoughts on it. But again, I like this tool. I full stack this tool because I have a business need in one of my businesses for this and it works perfect for that. But I have to do a lot of assembly, right? No assembly required. Required. This has a lot of assembly required, right? And so um, when you first log in, of course you have your dashboard here um then your activity box right what's going on what are the conversations like right uh well actually let's go back through the dashboard real quick start at the top you have your this is your marketing dashboard this talks about your inbound calls your outbound outbound i mean your inbound calls lead submitted uh conversion rate bounce rate page views this gives you a summary of what everything is going on they have a social visits breakdown right um page rankings right because they have a little seo piece to it to kind of help you as well um i i'm okay with this i just think there's other tools that do this better right and so i wouldn't buy this tool for that but this definitely keeps an eye on it for you right and then you can create different workspaces here the way the workspaces are designed is you have a workspace and a workspace covers maybe you have a workspace that covers all your outbound activity maybe you have another workstation that covers uh, only social activity, right? And so you can break your, your workstations out like that. And so this is your sales component, right? This is what, what kind of revenues are generated, opportunities, what were closed, what's open revenue, what do we got in the funnel, right? So like I said, this is a marketer's and salesperson's uh, dream, right? And then this is, this is the project stage. Hey, what do you got going on? What is the task? Hey, I got this person. I'm working on a proposal for them. That's going to be listed here in this screen, right? And I want to keep this video kind of short because people have been beating me up. Hey, you're too long. I'm like, hey, I like to give detailed um, uh, explanations. So this is conversations. These are the conversations that are happening with your staff or the people that you have assigned to your organization. Um, these are the different tasks. Then this is the activity box, like I said. This is the calls, right? And the way the calls work, that's another story. I'll have to get into that and I have to show you kind of how that works. But these are all your calls. They're logged. They're shown here. That's a call activity. How many calls were made? If you're managing an outside VA, uh, VA team or something like that, or maybe you're managing five or six small team or maybe a team of uh, 100, this tool is going to work perfectly for you. This is the web activity. 
what kind of web uh, activity we had coming in. Okay. And then this is a, a rankings feature, right? This has a SERP activity. You can plug in your, uh, you can create a SERP report. You can plug in your URLs that you want to track right here. Okay. And I think that's, I think that was added in here. I'm not, I mean, I, I can see how you can use that with other tools and I can see this can be an assistance, right? I don't see that being a dominant factor and a reason why you should purchase this tool. Um, this is the marketing and what the marketing is, and I want to stay on the surface. This is called cadences. And to me, what cadences are and where they're using them is these are sequences, right? Once a person calls, uh, try to call back. If they don't call and you can send people into a funnel and you can make these calls. And if they don't call back, you can send out an email. So the cadence is going to be kind of, you set up your sequences in the back, two calls, one email, one text, right? You can set those up from here. And the cadence is again, I like your sequences, right? That you've seen in other tools. Um, email campaigns, you can set those up here. Um, you can have SMS campaigns. You can have SMS campaigns and email campaigns. You can have one uh, email campaign, pick up an SMS campaign, and you can use those and you can build those in your cadences, right? And your cadences will do those for you. Hey, make two calls, make two outbound calls, add them to an email sequence, add them to a drip sequence in the SMS, um, insert links in the SMS for them. Hey, you, we are, you visited our page. Here's a link to that product you were looking at. You can actually insert those in the text messages as well. Um, social automation, right? This is more like a scheduler, um, things of that nature. I, again, this is not, I don't think it's the best tool. I just think it, it is, it is a tool if you needed it, but there's a, so many other schedulers out there and you all know that, right? Let's look at uh, the accounts you can add. These are the accounts that you can actually add right now, the app integrations. They got Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn, right? Um, pretty good if you're gonna start out marketing. These are be some definitely good areas to start in. You got a Stripe payments that you can accept as well. So, um, and then that gets more into the details. Let's look at the voice setup here. You can add a voice. Um, you can add, what happens is when you assign your number, what you do is they, they tell you to how to assign a voice over, um, a vo a VO voice over IP phone number. Um, and what you do is you look up the area code, you can put in what area code you want and it'll find a number for you. And then you can plug that in. That becomes your VoIP number, right? And then let me look here. This is how. You can do all of that stuff. Don't want to get into details there, right? Want to stay on the surface. All right. And so these are different roles you can assign here, user roles, right? You can assign different roles. Um, let me edit this role so you can see what I got here. This is the type of roles you can have. You have to add your roles and permissions in order to start assigning people to your particular uh, dashboard. I think this is very important. Okay, then um, let's go to we did sales automation. Let's go, we did the scheduler. Uh, this is how your scheduler looks, right? Again, we already know that there's more powerful tools out there. You got your publishers, you got your, your, your Predis AI. You got a lot of different tools out there where they don't do scheduling yet, but they're supposed to be doing scheduling. You got your feed hive, you got all those other types of tools, your B. You got all those tools, man. We'd be here all day long. Uh, you got your radar, all those other tools that do this scheduling very well. You can schedule a post here. Uh, this is how this looks. I think this is very important because a lot of people want to know how it looks. You can select which account you wanted to come from. Hey, I have my Facebook here and I have my my LinkedIn here and I could put a post in here, a, VR, uh, a URL, post link, upload a photo, so on and so forth. Very generic, but it is there for you. Um, you can nurture your leads when they come in, see where they're at. You can actually take a lead here, right? And you can figure out what you want to do with them, send them an SMS, so on and so forth, things like that. Okay. So you can look at your opportunities, proposal sent one, so on and so forth. These are just high level funnels. This is a salesperson's dashboard. They'd love it here. Let me cover a couple of other things for you before we wrap it up here. 
this is the funnel here, right? And you can build out a funnel page for when, and they, and what they uh, having a discussion with them. This is, listen, there's other people out there that do this well, right? There's other people, your lead pages and you know, your V bouts, all those other tools that do the uh, funnel building for you. We just wanted to give you something that you can do an intake form on. And so that people could uh, still get into your, your calling structure, your calling system here. Let me get an example of what you can do here. You can, let's create a new funnel here. These are the, this so far, and they said they're going to add more. Uh, but again, this is what they have. And what you do is you can create these different uh, templates. You have three, you have a blank, you have a sassy, and you have a wire, right? And let's do this. These pages are for home, about, services, and contact. Those are the pages that you get. You're going to get four pages with that. When you set this up, you can set up a raw vanilla one. Let's look at the, how that looks. We'll set this up, test here, and we'll go clone the test, right? And then that's our test there. And then what you can do is you can go in and you can actually um, uh, start building it out. And this is the builder here, very detailed, right? But, you know, drag and drop, you can still get the things you want to get added here. You can make different changes here, your H2, H3, um, and so on and so forth, right? So you can click on that. You can make those changes over here in the text box. So it's pretty easy, to, but it looks overwhelming, right? But it's not that difficult. If you've been in any other maker, you should be able to do that. And that's kind of, it's kind of what I wanted to show you. That's the funnel. Like I said, there's a blog portion. The blog is raw, right? There is no templates or anything like that. Um, you just create the, um, has your domain and all that. And then you just start blogging, right? There is no templates or anything like that, right? And that's pretty much most of what I wanted to show you um, at this particular time. You could, um, your people, your agents or your agencies could put in uh, trouble tickets. They could send those to you or this is, can be used as a trouble ticketing system to the actual uh, company, Ligna. If you wanted to, there's a knowledge base here. Let's look at the, the courses really quick. I mean, I just want you to at least take a look at it. Um, no, this is not where you create the courses. Let's look at, I think it's under, uh, where is the courses? Did they hide them? I don't know where the courses are, where the courses. I wanted you to see the course let me get to it. Stand by. Hold on. All right. So courses was under uh, system and then you got your branding. You got your, I already started branding, so I'm not going to put that up. So you got your branding, you got your pages here and then you got your courses. So this is how you build your courses. Now, these are not external courses where you can do a full blown LMS in or something like that. This is an internal courses that if you wanted to train your staff, what you can do is you can create a course and then you can name the course, uh, my course. I think this is for, if you wanted to do some internal training or something like that. Um, I just think that's what this is for. Again, it's not a full blown LMS, but you can create, and then you can have roles, certain roles can get into that, or you can embed a video in here, introduction to this, so on and so forth. So, and then that's where you can allow your team to get into this and to be able to have access to this. But again, it's not a full blown course, not a full blown LMS system. This is something internal. So again, um, again, I, I'm going to probably come back and do a deeper dive, but I wanted to kind of take you through some of the different things that it had in there and so on and so forth. Listen, this has been Jenny Jones. Hopefully you guys enjoy this tool. If you want to get a link to the tool, you can definitely find it in the description below. If you appreciate the fact that I at least took the time out to show you this video, um, go ahead and use my link below. And I'll probably make enough to buy some coffee. Definitely not enough to buy any gas out here in California. Hope you all doing well. You guys stay safe. Take care. Goodbye for now.